So this painting is by Mario Martinez and it's called Brooklyn. It's um, painted on unsized canvas with acrylic and charcoal and it's really large. It's a roughly 7 by 12 feet. Well, the painting was not on a frame. I'm, I'm not sure of the actual history of the Martinez painting, but when it was stored here at NMEI, it was rolled up and there was no frame, or the frame was with it, but it was not attached to the frame. We knew that we needed help dealing with it, so we contacted um, Jai San Singh. I, I as, as my job, a painting conservator, I work uh, across the institutions. Well, the canvas, because it was rolled up, it had um, creases and it was warped a little bit, um, distorted. So we had taken it over to Jai Sun's lab to help us restretch it. Immediately we realized uh, we have to go for an alternative methodology of flattening this painting. Physically, just you attach additional fabric and onto the strainer, just keep on the pressure on for a long time. So hopefully through this process, uh, we're able to flatten the painting that way. Then the time came to assemble the stretcher and actually put the painting onto the stretcher. And then it's just one of those things where it's so large and you have to stretch evenly. You have to have a lot of hands in the right places. And so Jason uh, directed this whole operation, and so we had lots of hands. So uh, Anne has asked for my consultation in the past, so I have visited her. I, I know her job and then what she's doing. Uh, Jason thought that my experience with handling large sheets of uh, fabric and applying them on wings might be applicable to her large painting. And I know she can really stretch well because she stretched uh, canvas on aircraft and she was very helpful and she's strong. <laughs> it's essentially stretched and then stapled, turned under and stapled to this stretcher. My role was basically grab it here, pull hard and fire that staple gun. Uh, it also turned out that her staple gun was having some problems so I repaired it while I was there. The day we take it off, the Dutch strainer will be the day we put it on the permanent stretcher. Uh, for the painting, approximately 12 feet by 7 feet, it, it takes a lot of coordination. Ow! Yeah, that hurt. Mm -hmm. Yours is tight too? Yeah, mine's tight too. All right, okay. so don't press. We just have a roll of plastic. We're going to roll it down the side of the painting so we have the length that we need. We wrapped it to protect the surface, um, and it worked beautifully. It, it was a little scary, but I think um, everyone worked really well together, and it went much more smoothly than anybody thought. And um, down the down the back stairs, out through the loading dock, onto our truck to bring it um, back here to the Cultural Resources Center. And then it'll eventually go to the Mall Museum so it can be hung for exhibit. Yeah, I guess only at the Smithsonian for one large painting would we put together um, a staff from the, the Air and Space Museum, the Museum Conservation Institute, and the um, several departments from the National Museum of the American Indian to get this one painting stretched and ready for exhibit. <laughs>